reading the story, The Christmas Carol. <clears throat> now, your turn. There once a mean spirit, miserable man named Ebony Scrooge. He was uh, so greedy that he was spending Christmas Eve counting his money with his black mob coaches. Mom asked, So, may I go home early today? My family is waiting. No, no way. Sit down and work. Good reply. After a while, his nephew, Fred, listened him to invite him to the Christmas party. Later, to the greedy man dropped by his house to ask for Jordan to chat it. But, but all Wombies would sat back was. Bah, humbug. That night, Scoop fell ill, asleep alone in his house while counting his money. But then he woke up to the visit to the ghost of Christmas past. What? The ghost took Scoop to when he was a lonely child. This also showed him when his friends barely left him because up his squeeze for money. Ah, we saw this. Show me him. Scoot sad, and he came back to his bed. Then the ghost of the Christmas present visits school. school. The ghost took him to the Quatrix family's dinner. They weren't so happy, even when they were poor and had crispy sun. Scrooge said, how can they be happy when they don't have money? After that, the ghost brought him to his nephew Christmas party. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm only uncle. Scoot was here with us. Scoot was was warm. Scoot came back to his bed. <gasps> okay, pre Christmas yet. Finally, the ghost of Christmas yet to come let Scoot to the center of the main jet. Oh, it's died. Then people as the fullness were talking. Oh. I'm so happy this old greedy man died. Me too. He was is forgiving. I'm so happy. Scoot asked the goat who this dead man was. The goat took him to the graveyard. Oh, but others order it. Of the grace of the white and ebony school. Shot by that school shout. Please give me a chance to my to, to chant fray. School was back in the bed. Christmas Day came and the school was so happy and he could chant his fate. He sent giant turkey to a scratcher's house. He also went to the Fred Christmas party. He lived the rest of his sleep by giving back to Paul and sending order with kindness and warmth.